I wanted to kind of give, um, I just wanted to give a little tip on something that maybe we can do if someone in your life is experiencing, um, a lot, has just recently experienced a loss or is, you know, in the, in the throes of grief or, you know, is just having a really hard time for any reason. Maybe they lost their home or their job or, um, you know, a, a divorce or, you know, maybe a really rough pregnancy or just anything like that where you feel like I, I want to be there for them, but I don't know what to say or do because a lot of people say stuff like, well, I, I was going to call, but I didn't call because um, I didn't really know what to say. Actually, I'm going to put a little clip in so I, this is what I'm talking about. Pounding 100 miles a minute right now listening to this because you sit here and you say, you know, how great of a friend you've been to people, but I really feel like you're not. Okay. And the reason why is because when my daughter passed away, you didn't even send a one flower. You didn't, you've been in L.A., you didn't knock on my door to give me a hug or just to sit next to me quietly. You showed absolutely no support. First of all, I didn't know what to say. And I'm so Most sorry. Most people don't. Like that. In the event that there is something that you know that you should be doing more for your loved one, but you don't know what to do, you don't know how to start the conversation, you don't know what to say, you don't know what to ask, you don't want to... Um, you know, add to their stress or add to their whatever it is they're going through and you think by like, I don't want to call and bother them. They're going through a rough time. That is not the thing to do. The worst thing that you can do with someone who is experiencing is to leave them feeling that they are alone. Leave them feeling like, I don't have anyone. It not only, not only does it not help, um, like you're not releasing or relieving them from stress by not doing that. You are making them feel isolated. You're making them feel more hurt. And it can almost um, compound the grief or the whatever by feeling like not only did this thing just happen, but I don't have anyone to turn to. So I want to offer you some solutions or things you can do if you just feel like I don't know what to say and I don't know what to do. So here are some things you can say and or do, or both. I have a lot going on, but I just wanted to bring dinner for you guys, so at least you don't have to worry about, you know, what you guys are going to eat for dinner. There should be enough to have leftover. It's not much, but I hope this takes a little bit of a burden off of you. We're here to pick up the kids. I'm going to take them off your hands for a little while. We're going to go to the park, and, and so you have a couple of hours to yourself. All right, come on, go get the kids. Come on, get your shoes on, guys. Let's go. Um, I came over here. I know, I know. I, sh I didn't want to call anyone because I didn't want you to tell me you didn't need anything. I'm over here to pick the kids up because I'm going to take them for the weekend so you guys have time to time for yourself to grieve, do whatever you need to do. You don't have to at least worry about the kids, okay? I'm going to take them off your hands for a few days. Come on, guys. Let's, nope, nope. I don't want to hear no. Get your shoes on. You guys get ready. Let's go. Uh-huh. Grab your bag. Let's go.